Hello, I'm Monique Bork with the Oregon Secretary of State's Office of Small Business Assistance. Welcome to the third of our three-part series of videos on benefit companies and certified benefit corporations. In the first of these videos, we discuss the differences between benefit companies and B Corps and the basics of benefit company registration with Corporation Division Director Eloisa Miller. In the second of these videos, we discuss the process and benefits of B Corp certification with David Gremmels, president of Rogue Creamery. You may wish to check out both of these videos as well. Today, I'm in conversation with Ron White, co-founder and head coach with Best HQ, one of Oregon's first cohort of benefit companies. Ron and I will be discussing why Best HQ became a benefit company and the value of becoming a benefit company. Thanks for joining me, Ron. Let's start with the most basic question. What made you decide to become a benefit company? Becoming a benefit company, it was really organic for Best HQ uh, as an organization, collaborative business community that was rooted on uh, helping elevate firms and their, and their purpose with roots in uh, people, profit, planet, and purpose as the quadruple bottom line. That's kind of the core of the organization. For us, identifying as a benefit company was, was really a natural fit um, after our formation in 2011, um, we found that we, we had some really strong connection with like-minded uh, organizations and individuals that did support social and environmental responsibility. And in 2013, when Oregon joined really a national movement around elevating organizations that, with, that committed to social environmental responsibility by forming this uh, Oregon benefit company as, as a type of corporation, a, a limited liability company uh, that that considers the impact. It, it was really organic for us. It, it fit nicely. And then in 2014, when um, when they did open up the process to, to register, we were proud to be one of the first 28 that, that actually joined other firms as, as a charter group of benefit companies. After, after all the buzz that was coming with uh, B Corps and benefit companies, um, it was really about the, the decision was very easy to say, hey, this is really part of our DNA and something that we want to be part of. Can you tell me a little bit about what the application process was like for you? Sure. The, the application process was, was very straightforward. Actually, if, if you go to the Oregon Secretary of State's website, you'll find a very easy three-step process to becoming a benefit company. The first is fairly straightforward. It's something done by the firm, the, the organization desiring to become a benefit company. And it involves uh, making a statement in the articles of incorporation. So if you're a new company wanting to set up as a benefit company, it's, it's pretty simple. You write it in and they, they list the, the ORS, the phrase that you put in your articles of incorporation. Or if you're an existing company, you simply amend your articles to include this particular language, which effectively commits to the social and environmental benefit. The second piece is adopting a third party standard. And really this is a it, one of, of multiple standards out there. It's, it's sort of a litmus test on your organization and how um, how it's conducting business. And again, there's there's a number out there that uh, firms have a chance to choose from. And then finally, uh, it's, it's about preparing and sharing an annual benefit report and the actions and methods that provide the particular general or public benefit. In that report, you'll, you'll want to list what circumstances that might have hindered your ability to, to make uh, benefits to community. And then finally, you'll, you'll want to um, address the third party standard, how you how you sort of measured up. Uh, and then the last piece is, is you go ahead and, and post it and share it to your community, to owners, um, to the website. So it's a, it's a pretty simple process. And again, go to Oregon State, um, the Secretary of State's website. What has been the impact of this decision on your business? Great question. I appreciate the, the why in becoming a benefit company. The impact is really this ability to 
attract uh, like-minded partners, clients, and, and community. By having the Oregon Benefit Company label, it encouraged and, and allowed this sort of aggregation of, of community around our organization, which is a, a community, a, a B2B uh, community of, of like-minded businesses. So it, 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 for us, the impact was, was offering permission and, and credibility to be our authentic self. Um, it helped us establish trust and long-term relationships that helped us build our community, but most importantly, help the community make a difference together by aggregating the like-minded folks. And so uh, it, it, it's been a great decision. I have absolutely no regrets about becoming a benefit company. I'd like to see you talk a little bit more about those benefits to the community. Well, the, the benefits allows a firm to share who they are. In a lot of cases, lead with their why. So for us, our, our why was about this quadruple bottom line of people, profit, planet, and purpose. The benefit company certification effectively gives us a solid third-party standard uh, in which we can readily reference our purpose, uh, accountability, transparency, and ultimately the, the real opportunity is to build trust and opportunity connected to one's growing their business. So we, we know that the pillars of relationship with our clients and, and those that, that we do business on a day-to-day -day basis, be it a public client or a private client, a nonprofit or, uh, or a large corporation, um, they, they all can recognize our commitment to social environmental responsibility as a foundational element that they can align with, build trust, and then say, hey, you know what? We want to do more with Best HQ. We want to do more with this particular Oregon Benefit Company. And, and for us, the benefit is this long-term uh, established trust. I would love to know why you decided to become a benefit company as opposed to a certified B Corp. Yeah, I did explore all the standards. The good news is the way the Oregon statute is set up for the formation of a benefit company, you have the ability to select your third party standard. In that process, we explored a number of different, as a closet engineer, recovering engineer, I studied uh, a number of the different standards out there. And certainly there's, there's the B Corp third party standard is excellent. There's, there's lots of great uh, reference material for organizations to try to identify opportunities to either measure or or enhance uh, their commitment to social environmental responsibility and to their credit they offer it I, I believe uh, still as as something they can download and, and just just review any organization can download and review and and, and check against it uh, there there is a fee for becoming certified B Corp that it can be a barrier for uh, many small businesses, we determined that in addition to the to the fee, it's there there is certain other things that the organization has to do to maintain their their standard, including you know hosting a, a site visit and and some other administrative uh, items that as as a smaller organization, we, we just really weren't set up. We didn't have the staff that that really wanted to commit to what I, I believe is the in, intent or, or sort of the target of, of the B Corp certification. So for us, it, it was it was simply not a good fit on on multiple reasons. Um, I, I think being a B Corp is is a good thing. It's it's not a bad thing uh, for us as an organization. We most closely aligned. I believe, with, with the original intent of, of simply being an Oregon benefit company. So what would you say to encourage other businesses to become benefit companies? That's an outstanding question. By the way, it's, it's a free process. I just want to make sure everybody knows that you should not be paying for it other than the little bit of time, effort, and energy to 
modify your articles and then to do the third party stand and put the word out on your benefit report. I, I pondered the why, why we would encourage others and found this very special time that we're in uh, is, is actually a, a good, clear path to why we would encourage others to become a benefit company. Um, as we know, it's, it's approaching um, the multiple years in a pandemic. Everybody's gone through it. Right? It's truly an extraordinary time for everyone. And um, my encouragement roots back to this universal experience of, of our world. Right? Never before in our lifetimes has the whole world effectively been paralyzed as we were in the early months of the pandemic. Remember where you were in 2020, right? Early 2020, when the pandemic first happened. I'm guessing. You, 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 you have a pretty clear picture of, in your mind of what was happening in your life, right? And so uh, we all paused. Nobody knew really what was happening. There was this sort of sheltering in place uh, that was happening because we didn't realize or didn't understand uh, the COVID-19. And, and we were really sort of, sort of scrambling and, and sort, of, sort of setting our baseline. We, we also universally had an opportunity to figure out what and, and, and why every one of us was doing what we were doing. So there's this foundational look at self that happened in this, in this period of time, this early 2020, uh, lots of discerning, lots of reflecting on, on what happened and why, and you know, looking at family, looking at uh, everything about our, our spirituality, our, our emotional, social, all these pieces, our environment and uh, social justice uh, elevated in, in that time, uh, issues around uh, social justice. And, and so with that, we get to consider our social and environmental benefit of our work. So given the fact that most of us spend the majority of our waking hours working, Right? We can and should all ask ourselves, okay, what are we working for? Right? And then with that, uh, business owners, uh, employers, uh, employees, uh, they, they all have the opportunity to, to kind of reflect on this, what we're doing and, and why, and, and say, hey, we have the opportunity to make a social and environmental impact with this majority of our waking hours, many of us call our, our work. So the final note is that um, studies will show that those, those customers and, and, and clients often recognize firms that do have that commitment to social, environmental, uh, and other than themselves costs, so more than making money. And that's really what the encouragement is is if if you can look at look at your why look at what we're doing with our waking time connect it back to the fact that uh, very clearly customer studies across the board will tell you that they want to support companies and organizations that are doing more than just making a ton of money right uh, it, this creates with becoming an organ benefit company creates a, really a triple win scenario a win for the client, um, a, a win for the for the firm, and, and a win for um, the community. So you have more customers, you have a firm that's feeling good, their employees, and then you have this the social environmental benefit that comes with your work. So I would most highly encourage uh, all organizations that do have that commitment uh, to become an organ benefit. Thanks, Ron. I appreciate you making the time to speak with me.